Hello, dear friends. Today we are going to learn about a fantasy thriller series called Connect from 2022. I wish you a good viewing. Ha Dong Su is walking through the night streets of his city. Several unknown people attack him, drag him into a van, and take him to an underground surgeon to have his organs dismantled. That same morning, passers-by on the streets of the city admire an incredibly beautiful statue of a naked girl in flowers. People retreat in horror when they see blood flowing down the statue. It becomes clear that the statue is made of human flesh. The police take the body away to conduct the necessary tests. At this time, Ha Dong is sitting at home and recalling the nightmare he experienced. The surgeon who kidnapped him performed a perfect dissection to extract the organs. When he took out the eyeballs and put them on the table, the boy's brain began to transmit information to him. As soon as the surgeon was distracted by a phone call, all the wounds on Ha Dong's body miraculously disappeared. He stood up and walked to the table where his eyes were lying. He managed to put only his left eye back in place and then had to run away in a hurry because of the alarm. After a while, he realized that his right eye had been transplanted to someone else, and now he could see what that person was doing. Meanwhile, the police are identifying the victim of the sculptor maniac. They know about two cases, and detectives cannot find anything in common between the victims. The only thing the officers note is the thoroughness with which the maniac eliminated the victims. He treated them like real works of art. Meanwhile, Hadong goes about his business. Hearing his neighbor complain about her husband's long absence, the young man goes in search of him. Turning a corner, he sees three boys laughing at an elderly man. After sending his neighbor home, Ha Dong engages in an unequal battle with a trio of scoundrels. They stab him in the ear with a knife, and it falls off. The young men run away in terror. The boy himself recalls how, as a child, he was able to heal himself in a second after falling from a great height, and the children began to tease him. The fact is that he has the gift of regeneration, and now he has tentacles coming out of his ear. The founders of an underground market that sells human organs learn about a boy who cannot be harmed. They throw all their efforts into finding him because he is a real value to them. The gang doesn't even realize that their conversation is being bugged, and now they are not the only ones who know about the special guy. At this point, Ha Dong begins to see visions with his missing eye again, but as soon as the new owner of the eye buries the drops, the picture disappears. The guy decides to get his organ back at any cost. To do this, he goes to the place from which he recently escaped. Seeing him, the bandits immediately rush at him, trying to catch him. Choi Irong helps Ha Dong escape from the pursuit. She was the one who bugged the bandits and knows about the boy's peculiarities. The girl throws her new friend off the bridge, knowing that nothing will happen to him from the fall. Thus, she saves him from a large number of angry pursuers. The next day, another statue adorns the streets of the city. Jin Siob goes about his usual business, as does Ha Dong. At some point, they begin to feel pain and discomfort in their right eyes, and a connection is established between them. Ha Dong sees a vision and realizes where his eye is now. Suddenly, he realizes that his organ was transplanted to the same maniacal sculptor. After finding the sculpture, Ha Dong comes to a large office building. He meets Sun He and remembers that he saw her earlier. He tries to strike up a conversation with her, but she is frightened of him and walks away. At lunch, Sun He meets his colleague Jin Siob and several other people from the office. Ha Dong sees the picture in front of his eyes again, and he starts looking for the place where the young man is sitting. He enters the coffee shop while Myung Hu is still there. The boy is sitting across from Sun He, and that's why Ha Dong thinks he's a maniac. A fight breaks out between the young people, during which the main thing becomes clear. Myung Hu is not the one the boy needs. Another important discovery is the strange sign that Ha Dong saw in his feelings. He turns to an astrologer, and the woman explains that this symbol means Pluto. This planet symbolizes destruction and rebirth, and is also the king of the underworld. This phenomenon occurs when Pluto crosses Venus. The astrologer names the nearest dates when this should happen again. Jin Seob is doing her usual household chores when Sun He rings the doorbell. The girl spends the night in the guy's bed. Meanwhile, the detective invites her to consult an astrologer. The astrologer shows her the sign of Pluto, and the woman tells her about a guy who has already been interested in this sign. It turns out that all of the maniac's victims had this sign carved on them, but the investigation kept it a secret. Hearing that someone was interested in this particular sign, the detective immediately takes the guy's description. The police receive images of Ha Dong from CCTV cameras and immediately begin searching for him. In the morning, the news is full of reports that the maniac has put up his next statue victim. Sun He wakes up in the morning and looks around Jin Siob apartment with interest. A sketchbook catches her eye. Opening it, she sees that it contains sculptures of liquidated people. The workers of the underground laboratory notice Ha Dong. They try to capture him, but Choi Irong comes to his rescue again. The girl helps him get out of there safely. 
Sun Hee comes to work and asks Mi Young Hu for help. She tells him to hide on the roof and calls Jin Seob for a conversation. The girl tells him about the album she found and asks for an explanation, but their conversation is interrupted by a phone call on Mi Young Hu's phone. Realizing that he's been found, the maniac throws the boy off the roof and does something bad to Sun Hee. Ha Dong sees it all in his right mind. Taking advantage of the situation, Jin Seob calmly goes down to his office. When he notices a guy with an eye patch clearly looking for him, he hides in the restroom. It is there that they have their first face-to-face -face meeting, but the arriving security guards detain Ha Dong because they believe he was involved in an accident with two employees of their company. These suspicions are confirmed by Sun Hee's friend, who was with her the day the one-eyed man first approached them. Meanwhile, Chi Zi Kin Chiob returns to his workplace, still thinking about what he saw. There, in the restroom, he injures Ha Dong's hand, and in a moment, the wound disappears. The maniac is sincerely interested in how this is possible. When the guards take the detainee to the police, Choi Irong comes to his aid again. Having dealt with the guards, she takes the guy out through the emergency exit. Meanwhile, the police watch the CCTV footage and realize that Ha Dong was on the ground floor at the time of the incident, which indicates that he was not involved in the incident. When Ha Dong returns home, he asks Choi Iran why she always comes to him for help. The girl tells him that when she was a child, a boy saved her from death by sacrificing himself, and in a moment, he was healed as if nothing had happened. When she heard the legend of the immortal body, she began to collect any information about such people, and that's how she found Ha Dong. The people who are looking for the boy work for the largest medical corporation in the country, and they expect to make a lot of money from regeneration. The detectives ask Jin Seab about the accident with his employees. After leaving the building, the men share their impressions. The detective sensed something wrong in the behavior of the balanced and calm guy. Ha Dong tells his new friend about how he lost his eye and about his visions. The next vision appears when the maniac is listening to a song. It turns out that the popular hit was written and performed by Ha Dong himself. He suddenly realizes that his eye only transmits a picture to him when Jin Seab listens to this music. A well-known musician and performer records a cover of a song from the internet, and it becomes an instant hit. The singer wants to buy the copyright to the song, but can't find the author. Jin Seab starts working on his album, and it becomes clear to Ha Dong that the next victim of the maniac will be someone young. He tries to identify the maniac, and again receives a vision. He realizes that the maniac is chasing him. The young man notices a minibus, but it drives away as soon as the boy walks in his direction. The police, noticing the boy with the eye patch, immediately detain him. Meanwhile, the detective interrogates Ha Dong, and Jin Seob visits the underground surgeon, hoping to find out whose eye he transplanted. 